Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. Uh, once again, tonight is going to be a shorter episode. This one was recorded back to back with the one from yesterday, and I was not feeling well right now, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to record um, on the day I would normally be recording this one on, so I'm recording it in advance. But that being said, we took a little bit of a trouncing last episode. We did a five skull mission against an elite lance, and we did kind of okay. Not amazing, but um, we did kill two of their mechs, but the, both the Marauder and the Thunderbolt took a bit of a trouncing. Uh, so we're getting those repaired right now. We're going to jump systems, since there's not much left for us to do here. We are going to jump out of here. We're going to do incomplete intelligence. Uh, we're going to take this one. It's a three skull mission, which is excellent, and it's a jumping to a five skull planet, which is even better. So we're going to negotiate this guy, get some free travel, and we're going to go full salvage because it's against Clan Jade Falcon, which is awesome. So we're going to accept this. It is a destroy base mission. So I think we should be okay at three skulls against Clan Jade Falcon. Most likely to be one lance and some turrets. And I think I want to bring the new catapult in just to see how that's going to run. Um, I was mentioning last episode, we have three catapults right now. And a bunch of parts for a fourth. Somebody was mentioning in the comments, and I apologize, I can't remember who it is off the top of my head, that there's a chance for uh, getting a catapult lance going. Uh, uh what? The heck. happened why um huh I'm a bit confused here I thought we would have okay let's take the mission I don't know I'm not even going to question it all right so we got this loadout here uh, we're going to run this one and see how it goes. We've got a, yeah, LRM-20, LRM-15, LRM-10 clan models with lots of variety of ammo, uh, an AMS system, advanced AMS, which is going to uh, defend the whole lance, and the uh, SM launcher, SM-9. So we're going to run that as the command uh, mech, and then we're going to take the, let's go with Wolverine, Griffin, and Shadowhawk, because I want to try and get as many mechs as I can from this. So, um, where are you here? Chupacabra. So she's finally got Warlord, uh, which is great. I probably shouldn't be putting her in this mech uh, because I don't think this mech is going to overheat. But we'll put her in here anyway. Um, just because she's the commander of this, the uh, second lance. And then we've got Speed of Sound Sonic. Let's bring her in. Um, then we've got, we're going to bring Diva in in the Griffin and Hot Dam, obviously, in the Shadowhawk. And let's deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. So hopefully we're not going to be able to have to directly see these turrets because we do have the catapult now. As long as we can get them on our sensors, uh, we should be good to go. And because we're going, moving against the clans here, we're just going to walk and brace. Yeah, so the catapult doesn't have a big movement range. Um, and as you can see here, we do have swarm and thunder ammo as well as the LK ammo. So we got the AMS on. It should defend all of these mechs from incoming missile fire. Now I could switch it to, I will show you the next turn. So there you have the option with the this AMS, uh, if I remember correctly. So if we hit, well I have to wait till my turn I guess. Uh, oops, did not mean to do that. Um, That's missile range on. What are we dealing with here? A griffin, eh? How do... I don't want to be aggressive, I don't think, on this one. Do ya? Cougar. Okay. Speed of sound. Sonic! Let's get our ultra auto cannon tank destroyer SM-1. Heavy turret chassis. I have no idea what it is just yet. Let's just fire on this guy because he's just standing there. Medium heavy lasers, which means he's really got to get close to us. I don't think he's going to be getting anywhere after that. Yes, 
All right, Chupi. Um, I think we're gonna split fire, and we're gonna target this turret and this mech. We're gonna go the SM9 on B and the LK ammo to A. Now you can notice here our chances to hit aren't very good. That's really not what this mech is for. Uh, actually, you know, before we do this, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, I guess I have to. I should have done it before I moved. I think we have to control click on the uh, on the walk to be able to get the uh, AMS to full Affirmative. full auto. Okay, a little bit of damage. Ping. Gets it within strike range. Receiving you. Let's see our medium range. Full speed. Okay. Target. Oops. Let's switch this around. Acid. And yeah, we'll go this route. I was thinking about switching to dead fire, but I think we'll just fire this way. Here it comes. Nah, no acid. Oh. What now? This guy is going to be in pain. You have elected the way of pain. Oh. Okay. Speed of sound sonic. It's your chance to become a hero. <laughs> See ya. That never gets old. That never gets old. Let's reserve hot damn. Uh, never gets old. Uh, okay, yeah, so we were going to do this. So I think if we... Ah. Control, so control click on here. Ah. I thought there was a way to... Oh, there we go. Overload. You can switch the how many rounds you want to fire. Since we didn't get any LRMs on us last turn, most likely their turrets are not um, LRM turrets. We're going to multi-target. Let's go after this guy and this guy. Actually, uh, while well, we got this going, let's just do this. So this is going to go on C, so we can hit the vehicle easier. And we're going to go with the LK, I guess, again on that turret. So we are an LRM, what, 55? 45. It was not so bad. As long as this turret can't see us, we should be able to take it out, and we can ping this guy. Uh, Commander? Now, can we see the one turret but not the other? We can. So we're going to do that. We're going to finish this turret up uh, and go this route. God, these SRMs are devastating at close range. When they have a good chance to hit, it's just like a nightmare for whoever they're firing at. What do we got here? Something that we can't... Oh, recon, recon vehicle. Recon! Let's, uh... Heat things up a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's not. Because we gotta come through here. Let's switch this to acid ammo and go after the vehicle. Oh, nice shooting. It's a lot of acid rounds that hit. So we need to quickly move our catapult up in here next turn. The command console gives us a plus 100, 100 meter visual range for the entire uh, lance. Okay, so he's backing up. Which is great, because now everyone's got that extra 100 meters of uh, visual range. I don't think we can get that guy with the AC-20. So let's move in here. We're going to cool off. And we're going to get our recoil reduction fixed again. Let's move into here. So we can cover the lance, but not be seen by the turret. And let's go after the tank destroyer. Oh, let's not. Let's maximize our... Uh, damage potential here. 
32, 29. So let's go with the 32. And do I want to warlord this? No, it's just fire. We got the ammo. It's a shredder turret, so it's got to really be able to see us to hit us. So I'm not that worried. We can take our time. Doesn't seem like they have any uh, indirect fire weapons in the turrets, which is great. As long as we be careful here moving in, we should be just fine. That's not being careful. Neither is this. Really bad chances to hit. Um, let's reserve. Just waiting for the right play. If we can get that turret down, I don't mind moving her in and kind of going after this guy. Got to be careful of these lighter clan max. I think this is a Gauss rifle. Some of the lighter clan max carry pretty heavy weaponry. Like ER large laser, you can fit in a really nice easily in a, in a light mech. But these guys, some of them will carry, like, like I said, this, look, this is probably a Gauss rifle and a tag. So you've got to be really, really careful. It might only be 35 tons, yeah, but it sure can be as deadly as hell. Uh, let's get you in here. And we're going to go after this turret. Um, we're going to switch from acid to LK because I think we can probably do almost enough damage to kill this thing and fire. Confirmed. Nope. Gonna need the AC-20. That's our bunker buster, the AC-20. So we do have a lot of salvage from this mission. We got a lot from this Griffin already. Hoping to get a lot more from the Cougar. It's not like the clans to flee like that, but whatever. You want to run? We're good with that. Well, he did get a shot at us before we went. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. So let's split fire like this. And these guys are going to B, and the rest is going to nowhere. Oh, to A. Right. Fire. I've oh, got a little bit on him. Not much. Nice shooting. Almost got the turret. They've got a center lock on me. What was that? Whatever it was, the AMS shot it down. Cause fuck you. Yeah, baby. AMS FTW. Let's not waste our ultra rounds on that guy. Um, it's a whole new turn, isn't it? I guess I miscounted my turns. Which is highly likely, because, you know, it's me. Um, isn't there a way we can get in to just... These turrets are... These two cur turrets cover each other nicely. These two turrets cover each other nicely. There's only a handful of uh, missions that I've been on where all four turrets cover each other. Which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, we want to wreck this cougar. Let's just shoot at him. Um, and I'm just going to hit him with acid. Okay, we do have acid on him. It's all right. Gives us a better chance to do some more damage. He's standing in fire, which means he's going to have a harder chance to shoot. Although, if he's got a Gauss rifle, it won't make a difference. <sighs> Somebody please stop the programming for these mechs to melee. Please. Please, 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 I beg of you. Um... Put this girl in the trees. I copy. And we're going to go after the... I think it was this far turret that had the missile launcher. Was it not? Or was it the first one? Ah, screw you. Um, it's not going to show us what's in there. 
So let's just, I think it was this one. The Shredder turret, I don't think, fires missiles. Could be wrong. Uh, we're going to Warlord it though this time. And let's switch to Swarm so we can do some more damage and fire. Okay. I'm receiving you. Um. Copy that, Commander. Yipper. Watch out for the fire, guys. Out for the fire. Yep, that uh, catapult is worth its weight in gold now. I swear to God, that is like the best thing, the best thing ever. So, how much heavy sniper turret? So that does have the Thunderbolt, most likely. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why can't you target what I'm thinking? That's got a lot of armor. Not much anymore, though. What's up, boss? Uh, I got a turret over here I need you to get rid of. Do you think you can do that for me? Thank you. I know it could have multi-targeted that one, but and it's kind of kill stealing from other people. It's, you know, everyone wants to get a shot in. Come on, guys. Cougar, Cougar is barbecued here. That's a lot of hits to the hip there, or the leg. Diva's getting a lot better hitting the targets we want. Gonna have to make sure she gets the called shot bonus. I think she's sixes across the board now, is she not? Am I, or, sorry, hot damn. I'm pretty sure she's sixes across the board now. Oh, I got five gunnery. Or, sorry, five guts. Yeah, targeting six. So she's much better at hitting those legs. What no. what, no! We have a turret we need removed. Do you think you can do that for us? Throw the link up for, what it's worth. for what it's worth. This guy and the vehicle, please. These aren't going to B. This is going to A. Let's, well, we're not going to hit B, but we'll take a shot at it anyway. That's harder. Harder? You don't know from harder. Where do you gotta fight friggin' two elite lances? Stop, Mealy. Just stop embarrassing yourself. Reporting minimal damage. I guess he really has to because he's like completely overheated. Order acknowledged. And swip. Um, you may want to watch out for the fire, just saying. That hit something good. Just watch out for the fire. We're barbecue. We're bar <laughs> We're barbecuing ourselves a mech here. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that got wiped out. Barbecued cougar. I should have probably left the, uh, uh, the S, the S, or the, sorry, the short range missiles off. Ooh, damn. I should have thought that, uh, that that's what that guy would have done. It's my bad. Hell 
Um, can we show this vehicle uh, what happens to those that... Actually, let's not do it from that angle. Let's do it from up here so we can maybe get the engine off this guy. But uh, what happens to people that target our uh, our friends here? Let's just show them. That's not showing them. Maybe you can show them. There we go. That's what happens. Eliminated. Oh yeah, destroyed. Same thing. Let's fire at this guy with LK because... I guess we could use Thunder so that when he moves he takes damage. That might be a lot of damage. Let's try it. Okay, can we get over here or something? Cause Double time. Let's go. we are getting our back is not so good here. All right, I don't know how much armor this guy's got in the other leg here. Seventy-one. That's going to be a lot of flamer damage. Style it back to that maybe, and fire. Yeah, we didn't get it. Should be able to get it next turn though, I think. Can deal with this base in a second. Alright, Shamash, where are you going? I'd be interested to see if this vehicle did move to the minefield, if it took enough damage to blow up. And I'd be interested to see where the damage gets applied. It should probably take a while for this guy to move. Doesn't have much armor left. So wherever it goes, if it does go through the minefield, it should take a you know at least a little bit of damage anyway. We hit it with a lot of missiles. Uh, okay, took minefield and burning damage and did nothing. I want to check out this guy here. Where are you? Oh, it took damage everywhere. Okay. Fair enough. It spread it around. So, thunder ammo not so good against vehicles. Duly noted. Um, we got some work to do over here. So what do we got here? Medium is 150. 150, 150, 100. I was hoping for a couple of buildings with a hundred, but let's multi-target this out. Uh, which one only had a hundred? This one, right? Yeah. And this one. So B is going to take this. Okay. More than adequate. And then D.Va should be able to finish this up here with a multi-target against this building and this building. Yeah. And B will take this and A will take that and that should be it. No, we got a couple of vehicles we need to take care of. What do you think, Chupi? You want to be a beast? Not with a 27% chance to hit, you won't be. Uh, let's move back here. Location confirmed. Targeting this guy. Let's go with LK, just because it's better chance to hit. And firing. See ya. Reporting vehicle destroyed. And hot damn. I'm receiving you. Okay, really great chances to hit. Offensive push. What do you got left in the leg? 17. We just need a couple of hits. Uh, just in case. There we go. Nice. So that wasn't too bad at all. 
All right, mission payment increased by 35%, which we can definitely use the sea bills. Um, Shadowhawk took some back damage, which was my bad. Doesn't look like we took any crits, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, actually pretty good overall. I like the uh, performance of the catapult in this mission. We'll have to see how it does on heavier missions. But on this one, not so bad. Griffin 2C parts, I don't think we're really interested in medium mech parts, but we are interested in clan gear. Light tags are a possibility, but I don't think we want to take them. Clan endo steel, we've got two, so we don't really need it. Um, we're going to take both XL engines. Um, so we have some C bills if we need them. Clan double heatsink kits, which are great if we're going for C bills. Um, maybe. Recon sensors. We don't have a lot of sensors right now. So I'm going to throw that in. Um, LBX ammo, slug ammo, and cluster ammo. Now we're not really using LBXs at all. Hmm. How many clan double heat sinks do we have? We got four. Um. Maybe we do go the C bill route. We don't need another 240 engine. We could stock up on endo. I think we got. Oh, these are medium heavy lasers. We've got five of them, so we don't need any more. Medium improved heavy. That's a little better. Let's drop that in. So if we're going to use any of the medium heavies, it's going to be the improved version. Light tags. I don't. Th we've got one. All right. So we're okay with that. So let's grab. Um, the double heatsink kits here because we can always sell them um, for C bills. So I think that's pretty good overall. I don't think we need we've been taking a lot of mech parts lately, so I want to shy away from taking more mech parts. Plus, the Griffin 2C is only 40 tons, so it's not really worth it. All right, let's confirm this. Okay, we got one, two, three, three Cougar parts and three Griffin parts. ATM3, light, we got a light tag. Okay, that's good. A couple of heavy lasers. We can sell a few of those now. Clan armor, got a core, some heat sinks, jump jets, LB20X cluster. Okay, so, I mean, we got some stuff we can sell too. Okay, let's have a look here. 32,000, so that's really pretty good for us. We did kind of play around with them a little bit there at the end. I did take that back shot. That was completely my fault. Let's manage our tasks a bit better. So our main lance is closer to being fixed, but we want to keep the Marauder up to the top. Let's bring the Black Knight up so that can get back relatively fast. The Catapult we want to bring back. Uh, and then these guys, because we are in a five skull world right now, so uh, we want our main lance back. Let's bring the Wolverine up a little closer, I think, too. Simply because um, if we need an AC-20 mech, I want that back. Shadowhawk, then the Griffin. Yeah, that's that's good. We'll do that. Uh, let's have a look at the, the contracts here. We never got a chance to see them when we arrived, so we will have a look. Oh, this is supposed to be a five skull world, but we got some lower skull missions we can definitely do. Um, have a look at the mech warriors real quick. Now, I'm not going to take another mission today, like I said. We may pull off one in the next little bit. Oh, you're so close to getting the next level of gunnery. Megasaur, how are we doing? Satori. Sheet metal, our next our next melee pilot. Um, plus two health. How, cl how close are we? We can get maximum sprint up, so let's do that. I know I really shouldn't be spending it because it just costs us more, but I want to keep pro progressing towards where we want to go here. Um, and Sunflower. I mean, the cost is really negligible. So let's do that. Um, and go back to the contracts here, see what we got. Because maybe the next episode we spend some time doing a couple of contracts here. We've got Stubborn Surrender. We've got the General we can take. Um, that's against Draconis Combine, so we're not taking that one. But Stubborn Surrender is definitely a good one. Uh, Jade Falcon against Jade Falcon. This one's against Jade Falcon. Stolen Goods against Jade Falcon. So there's a few good ones here that we can take just in case between episodes or in the next couple of days this falls into uh, Jade Falcon hands we can at least help to flip it back. Let's have a look here. Star map really quick before we go. And 104% now. So not that much more than what it was before. But you know 
that's fine we're helping out we're helping out and that's the most important thing um, so next episode most likely I'll take a couple missions here against Jade Falcon and then we'll jump and we'll do the flashpoint and the, and the episode after that and that will most likely be Friday night you'll see that most likely um, all right so we're gonna end the episode here guys sorry once again that it has to be so short um, but if you like the episode please drop a like if you haven't subscribed go ahead and feel free to subscribe and if you have any comments you can drop them in the comment section down below and until next time we'll see you later